Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the equation x to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 4. So, to start, what I'm going to do is rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. And I'm going to do the same thing with x minus 1 to the power of 4. I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2. Now, I'm going to subtract x minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 2 times 2 minus x minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2 is going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And x minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2 is going to equal x minus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared, and b is equal to x minus 1 squared. So now I get x squared plus x minus 1 squared times x squared minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0 and x squared minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. So, x minus 1 squared, that turned into x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0, and x squared minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So for my left-hand side, x squared and x squared, these two are like terms, so they add up. So I get 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And now for my right-hand side, x squared and negative x squared cancel out, so I'm left with 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So... What I'm going to do now is solve these equations. So let's first start with the equation on my left-hand side. 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Well, we can simply use the quadratic formula to solve this. And the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 2, and c is 1. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2 times c, which is 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 2. And this turns into positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 over 4. Now, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, so I get 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 4. And a lot of you probably think that we can't take the square root of a negative number, but we actually can using imaginary numbers. So, the square root of negative 4 turns into the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, if you guys already didn't know, is equal to the imaginary number i. So now I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i over 4. And this turned into 1 plus or minus i over 2. So. These are two solutions. 
And now let's go to my second equation over here, which is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to add 1 on both sides. And I get 2x is equal to 1. And now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So I have three solutions to this equation. My first solution is 1 half. My second solution is 1 plus i over 2, which is also equal to 1 half plus 1 half i. And my third solution is 1 minus i over 2, which is equal to 1 half minus 1 half i. So now we're not done yet because we actually have to check. Now, we obviously can't check imagined number solutions because they aren't real solutions, but we can check our first solution, which is 1 half. So, I have x minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. And 1 half is my solution. <clears throat> so, if I plug this in, I get 1 half minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 half to the power of 4. Now, 1 half minus 1, this is equal to 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so I get negative 1 half. So now I have negative 1 half to the power of 4 is equal to 1 half to the power of 4. And because my exponent is an even number, this is the same thing as 1 half to the power of 4 is equal to 1 half to the power of 4. And 1 half to the power of 4 is 1 over 16, so these two are the same.